So with an identity, you want to choose a side to work on. And so we're going to start with the left hand side because you typically start with the more complicated side. So let me just go write it all down. All right, now here's my little pieces of advice. If there is a sin 2x, change it. And you'll change it using this formula here. <clears throat> so that's step one. So that's going to become 2 sin x cos x minus cos x over 1 minus cos 2x minus sin x. My next piece of advice is very important because when you look at cos 2x, students get a little bit overwhelmed because there's three options available. So a nice technique to do is you look at the answer that you're trying to get to and this cos 2x is at the bottom. So look at the bottom. We're trying to end up with sin at the bottom. So what you would do is you would change this one so that it has sin inside of it, but only sin. So you would choose this one over here so that we can introduce more sin. Now it says one minus, now in brackets, you're gonna say one minus two sin squared x minus sin x. At the top, we're not gonna do anything just yet, but we can simplify the bottom because that's gonna become one minus one plus two sin squared x minus sin x. And then these ones can cancel out. And so at the bottom, we're now going to have 2 sin squared x minus sin x. When you find yourself in this position over here, the name of the game now is to factorize. Guys, factorize. So if you look at the top, there's a common factor in those two terms. That common factor is cos. Can you see it? It's common there. So we take that out as a common factor and then we'll be left with 2 sin x minus 1. At the bottom, we have a common factor of sin x and then you'd be left with 2 sin x minus 1. And then what happens is that these two cancel and so we end up with cos x over sin x and that's the answer. So we say therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side.